This commandment still stands. Go ye to all the ends of the earth. Preach the gospel. Baptizing people in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to obey my commandments. Lo, I am with you always. The question is, are you doing that wherever you are? Sometimes we get so overwhelmed by our problems and forget the mandate we have as the church. Sometimes we are so surrounded by so many benefits. We enjoy the blessing and forget the mandate that we have as the church of the living God. Thank God for the breath that you have. Thank God for the shelter that you have. Thank God for the provision you have of the food, the protection. Your life here matters. You can make a difference in your family. You can make a difference in your community. You've got to preach the gospel, not by word only, but by word accompanied by corresponding action. My prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, that you as the messenger and the message you carry you must be in sync in the name of jesus don't just speak the gospel without a corresponding action that will be hypocrisy don't just do the gospel without speech that will be really cruelty you can't enjoy the benefits of being saved without telling other people about jesus who saves the bible says we call upon the name of the lord we will be saved we called upon his name he saved us how will they call on that name unless they hear about him? How will they hear about him unless you obey the instruction to go out and preach the gospel? The church is scattered, but the church is still open. Be the church you were created to be. Minister the word. Let lives be saved. Let them grow as you share your life with them. As you see them discipled to full maturity. So they can do the same. So they can go out there scattered as they are. Preach the gospel both in speech and in deed and manifest the glory of God. God richly and abundantly bless you. It's Pastor Busane. You have a whole week that lies ahead. Make each day count. It's not about the blessing, enjoying the blessing. It's not about enjoying the breath that God gave you or the health that you are asking God for or enjoying right now. It's about Telling people the good news that Jesus is still Lord, that Jesus still saves, that Jesus is calling them to come as they are, that they should cast all their burdens upon him because he loves them and he cares. Those who are weary and are heavy laden, let them come to Jesus. He will deliver from the dominion of darkness. He will save them in the mighty name of Jesus so they can have an abundant life and have eternal life. God bless you. I really love you. Have a wonderful day.